Hey everyone, I'm Tens from C9, and today I'm joined by Vice from C9 also. And today we're going to be touring the new Icebox map. Dan, you excited for the new map? Yeah, man, let's get into this. Alright, so starting with the defender side, this is the defender spawn here. And over here, where Tyson is jumping around, this is towards the A side. Mm -hmm. And these are the barriers for the defenders towards A side. And I mean, you're basically, this is the site right here, right? This is the A yeah, this bomb is site. The, yeah. So basically, this entire area is where the attackers would want to plant the bomb. Yeah. So everywhere where it's yellow, so I'm guessing um, after everything leaves this ramp right here, then you can plant the bomb mm -hmm. anywhere on this like kind of window. I'm pretty sure that's where you can plant the bomb. Right. Maybe even like underneath or something. But like, I don't know. I feel like post plants would be kind of weird. It'd be kind of crazy trying to retake this. Yeah. I'm, I'm fairly certain you can plant up here as well. What? Okay. You can plant on the top as well? Yeah, because I think... On the this other side of the map as well, like we'll get into it later, but you can, there's also an elevated part yeah. towards B where you can plant like... Shit, so you can top. like play a post one over there then. Yeah. And then I think the signature part of the A side is the zip line, which allows <laughs> you to travel like across the entire A side of the map, like really fast. And... Is my accuracy like good in midair right here? It's not terrible. It's not the worst. It could be. It should be worse. I feel like the de defenders can instantly grab this orb without like any challenge, though, because like this corner protects you, and up top, like I don't know if they can get. Oh, I don't know if they can get there as like fast enough to peak that angle. Mm, like they don't get here very fast. Yeah, because I feel like. Well, I guess the orb is exposed though to the upper angle. No, but like if imagine so the barrier is going off, and I just like run over here and just grab it like this. Grab it, and then I run around this corner. It's like nobody can see me. Mm, okay. Yeah, so... There's two ways to wrap around mid on defender side right here. And there's like... You can sit underneath these. Spot spotted. Yeah. Damn, there's like so many angles on this map. Holy. Yeah, there's a lot of angles. It seems really defender-sided because... Yeah. There's a lot of elevation areas too, so like... Straight out of spawn, you can run up mid here, just play an angle like this or something with an op. Yeah, this is this is nuke v2. Yeah, seems super defender sided. And let's see, from mid you can rotate quickly to A, it's A main here. Yeah, you can also rotate right here into B. Yeah, you just jump crate. off that, go under the crate. Huh. Path up to the window right here. Kitchen. Break room. Kitchen. 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 Um, yeah. Okay. How, how can you? I can get. Yeah. Okay. So you can come up the stairs too. Come to kitchen. I don't. I don't like how claustrophobic this part is. Yeah. For a big map, there's a lot of like narrow choke points. And points. And like, what, like fights. what does this box achieve? I don't know. I'm just gonna run into this accidentally. Is it a spot? Oh my gosh, yes it is. It actually is. I can't see you. Like this look. is a perfect. Dude, look at yeah. this. It's perfect for this. You know, look at, look at, like go be, go behind the corner, like over here. Imagine you were coming out. Yeah. <laughs> just out of nowhere. It could be good. Um, okay, it's so like a connector here to B. This is all a B mid. site though. Yeah, this is B site, so on the map. Here. I'll just ping the four corners. Here. Here. Yeah, okay, so I think it's basically like this wiring here kind of shows like what the site is. Oh yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. Mm -hmm. And then you can plant like below it, here. Or up? Yeah, you can plant it up as well. I find that so like <laughs> odd that you can have like vertical plant spots. Vertical plant spots, yeah. And you could just um, plant like, dude, this site is so crazy because you can plant and there's like little doorways inside the bomb site. You just plant and you could literally just play like so far away from the site 
Like me and Josh were talking about like planning here. Like just like this spot, and then you're just playing like all the way over here in the kitchen. Okay, so, like, can you plant like right here? I think so. Yeah, oh, maybe plant like it. on the on the corner. Yeah. Yeah, that's just that's right there. So they they have to defuse from like right here, or yeah. like on it even. Yeah, that'd be There's super uncomfortable. Like no way you can play that post plant. All right, so I'll say first impression being on attacker side and just looking at the barrier, you're very closed in here. Like as soon as you get out of yeah. spawn, the barriers are just like in your face. And I mean, there's a lot of corridors to go to, but like, there you don't like get any ground early on. Yeah, exactly. You know, what I, you know what I realized with this map too? You know how the other map layouts are like, you trip your flanks and shit. Like, it feels like that's not like a thing you would do on this map because of the way that, it, like, I don't know, it's like really weird, right? Like, you kind of right. spawn and you're like at both sides already almost. I feel like flanking would just be really like, kind of like either you're gonna fight everyone or. You're just gonna get behind everyone. Like yeah. the way the map looks. Like lurking, lurking yeah. could be sick. Through mid, there's a lot I, of like. And like, let's say you have the opera like yeah. posted on you mid. You can just walk up mid up yeah. here and like get on the left or something and just like hide behind a box. Or like I don't know, I there's think, probably some cubbies. I think opping on this map will be really strong, but more so on defense for obvious reasons. But yeah, uh, it, it just looks yeah. like. You can take a lot of angles and then like instantly fall away behind a crate or something. Like m er mostly everything that you like can hold, there's gonna be like cover that you can get away with, and like you can reposition really easy. It looks like, mm -hmm. especially with like the added verticality as well. Like, yeah, there's so you can, much like, verticality. Like off on off angles or just like hold from high up while your teammates skill in the lower part or something. Dude, the verticality on this map actually makes it super interesting though. Playing like Omen yeah. or Jet. Did you be like on this? Can you be on this? Oh my god, wait. Wait, cut, look at this. Oh shit, you can get on top of that? Yeah, you get on top of this, dude. You can like hold rotates like this. You can peek what? into the kitchen, peek into B, dude. Oh, this is where I'm going. Though. Yeah, th this is a sick spot <laughs> right here. Holy this shit. This is my spot right here. Okay, so that's really interesting. Um, you want to come check out A-side, maybe from attack? Yep. I'll just show you what I was doing, like, literally. Like, you would think that, like, you go to A really fast from attacker side, but... Uh, since you spawn so close on defender side, you actually get beat here. To this angle. Yeah, like, like... So they could already be, like, up on the right. Yeah, you could right take the zipline. Up. You could take the zipline off spawn as a CT and just get into this before they're even up. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty ridiculous. I'm assuming they'd probably like adjust the spawn barriers to seeing how like it plays or something. It's, it's very defender sided right now. Yeah. And the other way I was going was up through this ramp on the right. Just come up here. And you get a pretty fast angle here, but there's so many spots to clear if you come up here. And the orb is here obviously, and then if you want to push up, you gotta take a pretty fall drop and make noise. Yeah. Can you get on top of the zipline from- Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Yahoo! So skill jump right there. What is this Wait, spot right so... here? Wait, you can actually... Oh, can you case... That's that a skill jump? Is that hard? No, that's super easy, but I didn't even realize that was a path before. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. So I guess you could like jump on top of this and like take a headshot angle. Ooh, I can't... Okay, no, I kind of like that. Yeah, it's kind of good. It's kind of good. I mean, uh, you could also just like hold an off angle from right here though. Like, dude, that's true. so many off angles, holy... Like... Yeah. The, each box that you can jump on top of has like three different like layers. Yeah. Wait, so I want to see if you can actually like, wow. Yeah, you actually can plant right there. Wait, what if Did you like you try planting the on the side right here? What? Wait, 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 put it down, put it down. I actually? actually? Yeah, yeah. Does it go? Spike planted. Oh, okay. Uh oh. oh, it's floating. Whoa, that's cool. I've never seen that underneath the spike. <laughs> No, there, there's oh yeah, there, there's hey, actual the spikes. <laughs> that's why it's, that's why it's called a spike because there's spikes. Wow. All right, all right, there you go. I learned something. <laughs> Going into B right here, there's just two separate ways that you can go. They both like end up in the same spot though. Hmm. What's the benefit of going through this way? I don't know. Damn. Yeah. Wait, but like on an attacker, can't you just smoke this? Can't you just smoke right here and completely shut down? The T's from even scaling, if 
the barriers right there or even just hold an op like yeah, if, you, if you hold an op back here or just like anything they can't do anything because that's the only entryway like that's like here. yeah it is or you, oh maybe you have like a killjoy on that or something and just like anchor this one spot down but like when they get out i guess they can kind of like maneuver around this a bit and kind of do that but still b side also opens up a lot right back here i didn't even realize mm. that yeah it goes from like tight choke points to like, like a open really area. yeah open area yeah. This is going to be the hard part, I think, for attackers going through B. If they want to go through B main here, they have to get through this part. This is going to be like the hardest part if they want to hit B. Yeah, I feel, I feel like right here too. Like if an attacker is holding like far back, they can kind of like see your feet a bit, or a defender. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, or even no. like right here. An op would be I don't super, even know. Super strong here as well. The thing, the thing that seems really weird about this map to me is like. The point of contact when you're a CC is like so much further than where the bomb site actually is. Going here though is like, if you fight this guy and this guy gets away, like look how far you have to run to actually even get into the site. Yeah. You have to yeah. run all the way up here. You have to scale a lot of ground. Yeah. Dude, I, f I feel like it's the attackers are gonna have such a hard time. I, I could see just like Mitch coming the with the turret here. or, or yeah. an opera, yeah, just leaving something here. Just locking it down or like playing for info and just holding heavy yeah. mid or something yeah with killjoy yeah honestly yeah. i feel like killjoy could probably anchor like one side of the map like <laughs> kind of easily or yeah. just like get info at least because yeah you can put an you alarm like, bot in like all these spots too. yeah uh, dude if you alarm bot right here let's say it literally gets both this window this window i guess you just have to worry about this side or maybe you could alarm bot like right here a turret one side and then like Put a turret in the window holding that and you're just opping this hallway right here. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so now let's test out what the timings are on this map, starting with A-side. I guess we can try to figure out uh, who has the advantage uh, going for the orbs first. Yeah. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do the horizontal zipline. Okay, so I'll go lower then first. Okay. I'll do okay. lower first and then we'll do the upper part after. Yep. Yep. Alright, 130. <laughs> wow, that's yeah, that's insane, dude. You're all the way up there before I'm Did you even well, do you even hear me or no? I heard you get off of it, I think. You heard me get off? Okay. What if I what if I was going like this and I immediately jumped onto like the headshot angle right here? Like can you see my head? Yeah. Oh yeah. So me and Josh tested that. It's it's actually not good to. Oh yeah. That angle is good, but like the one below you is not good. Yeah. yeah this one, I angle. can't see anything. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. What about right here? Oh, that, dude. That, that would Wait. be good. Again, like you got the opera. So imagine just like an opera like this. Jump up. Take an angle. Hold. Yeah, that's good. You have this entire. Oh, yeah, that would yeah, own this Entire people. lower area like locked down. Yeah. Only thing is like you'd have to have someone on your upper side, but. Well, I feel like yeah, if you're like playing jet, you can get away, kind of. Oh yeah, that's true. That's Especially true. you know the timings for the uh, top sides. part. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. good. Tell me whenever. All right, on sixteen. Okay. So you're going up the ramp here. Ten yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you get was, here like, so fast, here. man? Yeah. Like it's hard to believe that the barrier for attackers is right here but you're able to get like already oh, like MSTP? on the side yeah. like that's not right to me <laughs> like at all <laughs> this is incorrect yeah and i think obviously if you can get up into this uh like zipline part this like terrace area you can like the, the defenders have easy access to this orb first before the attackers yeah but that's how I was saying before, like, you literally just run up on this orb and you grab it from right here and mm. you're completely safe and you just run around me on this corner. Yeah. There's like no way to punish you. What I'd say right now, the map is really big and it's weird though because it feels both big and small. Like the open areas are really wide where like the narrow areas are the most narrow of you ever seen on any other map. That's like mm. two extremes together.
Yeah, I agree with that. I also really like the general aesthetic of the map. It's yep. uh, it's like cold and snowy, and there's like these northern lights. Looks pretty sick. <laughs> I mean, I think the map design could use some work though. Like, I think just shifting the barriers a little bit would improve the the balance of the map a lot more because it seems super defender sided and like there's a lot of narrow choke points for the attackers to go through and then even in the wide areas there's still a lot of angles for the attackers to worry about right off the bat this map is either going to play way faster in every map or way slower i i'm not too sure yet yeah yeah excellent analysis <laughs> the attackers and the defenders meet like everywhere so early on where like mid is literally just like a crate blocking off like one angle from ev uh, all of the middle a the attackers can in or the defenders can instantly get like up in a and so you can get like up in the the attacker's face right away at b like it's like corridors so i, I feel like it's either like gonna be a bloodbath or you have to play it like super like methodically and just play it really slow and clear every single angle yeah i agree with that yeah, so I, I think it's either like two extremes. I think um, I think you'll see like more sentinel focus comps on this map typically, because obviously there's more stuff to clear out and duelists have, I think they have less uses in this map besides maybe like jet or maybe like having a flash duelist would be good. But having like, I guess for us exclusively, we run like three duelists sometimes, I think that's going to be a lot more rare, having duelists, uh, sentry comps for this. Um, I'd say for me, I'm going to say a biased answer though, but Jet and Reyna. <laughs> Jet and Reyna, yeah. Just I because Jet can offer like even more verticality, because like you can literally get on top of everything. Um, her smokes would be useful too, I feel like you can one way a lot of stuff. Uh, for Reyna's case, I feel like you can just like aggro push something either on defense or attack and just like use your dismiss to like get away from pushing angles like dude you can just push down middle or something and just like try doing aggressive plays like that or like tossing high Reyna flashes in the air maybe it'll just get like since there's a lot of open area it'll be able to blind a lot of people yeah it'll blind like a lot of angles at once yeah just one flash yeah all right, thank you guys so much for watching and we're super excited to get into this map and try it out for ourselves. Uh, let us know in the comments below uh, how you guys feel about the map.